Hey folks, it's Mangirl. Welcome back to the channel. I'm checking out the world's smallest charger. This thing is so small, it fits in the palm of my hand. Let's go ahead and do a quick unboxing. I love this little tab. Let's pull the tab. Come on, you can do it. First thing I find here is a XT60 to XT30 adapter. Next, we have a quick start guide. And then finally, we have the charger itself. Really not much in the package. What we have here is the new Hoda T6. It's a super portable 300 watt charger that supports all different types of battery chemistries. On the left side of the charger, you have all the inputs and you can see that they are very nicely labeled. The best way to power this is through the XT60 connector here, which is 10 to 30 volts. This will give you the full 300 watt power capability of this charger. You can also power this using the USB type C PD input but do note that this will only give you 90 watts of power. On the right side of the charger, you have the battery connections. So we have the balance connector here, which goes all the way up to six, which means it supports up to a six cell battery. And then we have our XT60 battery connector here, which you can convert to an XT30 using the included adapter. On the back, we have the fan along with some legs to keep this elevated off the ground to help the fan actually breathe. And then on the top, we have three clicky buttons. Let's power this on for the first time. I'm gonna use this battery here to power it on. Let's go, one, two, three. It's got a nice colorful display. And it does turn on very quickly. Now, unfortunately, it does look like it's set to either Mandarin or Cantonese, which I found the same thing on my other Hoda charger. Let's see. Yeah, so I'm gonna to need to use Google Translate here to see which of these menus actually allows me to change the language. Thanks to Google Translate, I've got this set to English now and I'll show you how to do that. You hold down the middle button, that takes you into settings menu. Then you go down to the second item, which is system parameters. And then over there, the first item is language. So over here, you can switch over to English. And once you do that, you will get what I see here. And I did turn off the volume because the actual beeping sound is quite loud. So let me show you how that sounds like. So you can see if you want it to beep, you can actually turn it on. For the purpose of this video, I will turn this off. If you hold this down, the middle button, it'll actually go down into the prior menu. So really we have three buttons. We have up, down, and then this is a dual purpose button. One click actually gives you the charge menu, or I guess it can give you the discharge menu as well. So here you can choose what kind of mode you want. So this is very similar to all the other Hoda chargers. So you set all that up here. If I hold this down, it should go back. Now, if I hold down the middle button, that's where it goes into the actual setting menu. For testing purposes, let's take this fully charged battery and put it back into storage voltage. So I charged this battery this morning, hoping to fly. It did not happen. And I don't wanna keep this fully charged. So let's push the middle button. And then I've set this to storage. I've set it to, 0.7 amps, which is 1C. So 1C would have been 0.65, but it can't do 0.65, so 0.7 will do. And it's set to high voltage lithium. Let's push the start. And just like the other Hoda chargers, it'll ask me to confirm, are you sure this is a high voltage battery pack? We will say yes. And then let's see how many amps and watts can this discharge. It's a very, very small battery charger. So we will see how this looks like. So I see 0.3 amps. And I can hear that the fan is spinning up. Look at that fan go. So this will take a while to discharge. We can see we're up to 44 degrees Celsius on the charger. Actually, a 0.3 amp discharge isn't too bad. As you can see, my D6 Pro also does 0.3 amp discharge. I wanna go ahead and power the Hoda T6 using my All Powers R600 power station, and I'm gonna try out the PD input using a USB Type-C cable. Let's see how that works. And this is rated at 100 watts, and I'm using a cable from a iPhone. Oh, it tells me it can do up to 60 watts. 60 watts, 20 volts, three amps. Now let's see how smart this is. If I unplug this and I plug in a USB type A to a USB type C, 
what will it tell me then? Because this is only rated at 18 watts over here. So will it tell me 18 watts? Yes, it does. Okay, so that's pretty cool. I plugged in this beast of a battery, 3,700 milliamps. And I want to charge this battery using the PD input. So let's go middle button. And I see it's already detected the LiPo versus the lithium high voltage. And I've got this set to 1C, which is 3.7 amps. It automatically detected the 6S based off of the balance lead. And now let's charge this. And I suspect it'll do only 60 watts based on that message. But let's see how this looks. Okay, it's ramping up. 1.6 amp, 2 amp, 2.2 amp. And it has stopped the 2.2 amp. So th this tells me 51 watts. What does this tell me? This tells me... Oop, this tells me almost 60 watts. Okay, so it's doing as it said it would. And now if I go through the menus here, do I see internal resistance of the battery? Okay, yeah, we do. And I think in a couple of seconds, we should get a reading here. So it looks like this only shows up during charge cycles. Yep, and we see 19.3 volts input. Yeah, we're, we're charging. And there is our internal resistance. The fan on the T6 has turned on and we can see we are now pulling almost exactly 60 watts. So that's why it won't charge at 60 watts. It needs that extra headroom for losses along with the fan. I found the Hoda T6 to be a compact and capable charger, a charger that is perfect for charging my three inch and my 3.5 inch quad batteries at the park. I did purchase this from AliExpress for a very affordable price. If you are interested in picking one up, I will give you links in the video description. So hopefully you like this video. Make sure to like, subscribe, and comment, and stay tuned for more videos.